perfect pitch on a perfect day in this stadium. Martin Tyler here to describe the action along with Alan Smith. Portuguese league action coming right up for you. It's Braga against Portimonense. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Well, we've got a couple of teams here that their strengths are attacking, no doubt about it. So I'm sure they'll be going at each other very quickly. And here it is, the starting 11 for the home side today. Well, three at the back. That's the first thing that catches the eye. What about the rest of the team? Well, it looks to be a 3-4-3. Three, three. You certainly don't see it that often. And when it works, it can catch the opposition off guard, really. It can be a really awkward shape to contend with. The line-up for the away side. We've got it down as a 4-3-3. Three, three. Yeah, it's a system that the Netherlands used to use all the time. I think, really, they invented it and uh, plenty of countries have adopted it since. If it works, it's, it's really uh, tough to handle. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And it's the start of the game here. Bruno Viana, Ricardo Escaio. He's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? It's going to be a throw after that challenge. Well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. He might be through. And it's the tackle that stops the attack here. Caro Escaio. Here's Paulinho. Now, can they move on from this wide area where there is room? Another turnover in play here with that interception. Round the vice, looking for a through ball. Must be a goal, and they've scored. And they've opened the scoring here. And that's wonderful, wonderful technique to just feather it into the bottom right. Let's see the replay now. And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. Striding forward, purposefully. Could whip it in from here. Could have been a penalty there, but a superb slide tackle got the ball cleanly. Here's Paulinho. The limit goes. Strong piece of defending and clearing. Break quickly when they get possession. Trying to find an opening on this counter-attack. To bring them level. Not really tested the goalkeeper, but sometimes it can look a bit too easy. He made sure he made the save competently. Yeah, he did, and he doesn't make too many mistakes, this lad.
now they're looking to get forward from this position. Ah, he's taken it away there with a very good tackle. That's not what he wanted to do, a poor pass. And they've got a man out wide. Chance to get the ball in the box. And here, it's the goalkeeper's ball. Good interception. Excellent vision. That's out of danger there with that clearance. Palinho played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Could get the ball into the box now. Guiding the pass through. Goal! They lead by two now. Took the chance nicely. And that really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match. Well, it was a gift. Strikers dream about moments like this. A tap-in. Yes, yeah, not often that you do get what is literally an open goal. And he wasn't going to miss it. Restarting at 2-0. And they've spread it out wide here. Bit of a desperate lunge, that, and he's going to get booked for it, I think. Well, that episode is going to lead to a yellow card from the referee. Well, look at the ref, he reached for his pocket straight away. No uh, hesitation from him. Sliding in and uh, taking his part in the game into uh, uh, a dangerous territory, really. Well, he's tried to go for the slide tackle, and uh, he's a faction off getting the ball. It is a foul. He's not going to go for goal, is he? He's an awful... Oh, that's whistled. Just off target from the free kick. Yeah, unlucky. Struck it well, and I don't think the keeper would have got across. The, the referee has chosen to add on two extra minutes. Two minutes. Ricardo Escaio. Ricardo Escaio attacking now. Continue to knock the ball around, looking for the opening. Did well to get the ball in, but they need more than that in the middle. And the referee is blown for half time. It's 2 0 here. I just wonder whether the occasion's getting the better of them. We really expected a bit more so far. This touch map is uh, a decent explanation as to why his team are losing. He's not been able to lead from the front like usual. And here we go, the referee's blown his whistle and we're off for the second half. Trying so hard to make the opening there, nearly. The hosts have controlled possession here so far. And haven't we seen some lovely football out there? Knocked it about, it's been difficult for the opposition to get near to that ball at times. They've been given a real chasing. Found good room out here. Probing with the pass. Brilliant goal! Important for them to get the next goal, and they've got it, and they're still in the contest. Well, there's an opportunity for the winning team to shut up shop, but I'm not sure they're capable of it. Off we go again, 2-1. Goal for the visitors. Number nine, Jackson Martinez.
Juano Weiss. Set up to play on the break now. Chance to cross it. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Careless there. Trying to thread a pass through, but not successful. He's got some room out here in the wide position. Referee has blown, and he's given the free kick. Well, it might be a good idea just to get a fresh player on and cement their position as they look to hold on to this lead. Is he going to be an in-swinger or an out-swinger? He can deliver these with both feet. And the cross goes towards the far post. Out in front of goal. Well, he fancied his chance, but he had the technique to get that on target, but it didn't work out. Just wonder whether he took his eye off the ball at the last moment. Pressed high here. Opening them up with a through pass. It's a shot. Really good defending. If he hadn't touched it, it was a goal. Now, one of the keepers thanking him for that bit of closing down by his defender. Ricardo Escaio. The home team about to make a change. Well, that will be a throw. Now, this is interesting whether the manager is just going to switch things around a little bit. Read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Here's Paulinho. He's one on one with the goalkeeper. Oh, it's a great goal! Oh, no wonder he goes over to thank the lad who set him up there because that was a wonderful move. I think they've practiced that one on the training ground. Another angle on it here. Well, the losing team have got to do something, and this is it, the substitution. 3-1 the scoreline as we restart the game. They're looking good when they attack. They were right at the opposition then, but it's broken down disappointingly. Now Raul. Now the countdown is to ten minutes left. Ricardo Orta. Can whip it in now. It was a good-looking cross, but in the end it didn't turn out to be effective for his team. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter-attack. Could have done better with that counter-attack. Orta. He could have stopped it, but wisely has let them play on. Here's Palinha on the attack here. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. Looking to clip it into the middle. That's a wonderful save at full stretch. Well, here comes the corner. And the keeper doing his defensive. job. There will be a minimum of three minutes of having time. Well, we're down to the last minute here. Taking on the opposition and the responsibility as well. And the referee has brought a halt to it. That's full time. Well, we've given you the scoreline. The bottom line, it's a defeat. It is, and that dressing room will be a sad old place at the moment, a quiet one, I think, as it sinks in.
And they'll just be looking ahead now, or they will be, uh, to the next match and hope for better things.